Jesus says in today's gospel, I am going to my father's house and I prepare a room for you. It's a personal intervention by Jesus when he says, I myself prepare a room for you. I remember a woman who came to me and said, she's a mother, she's a wife, she has teenage kids, and, and she said, I've not, I've not seen an ungrateful set of people or ungrateful type of people than men. It's her first reaction, and, and uh, I found it pretty amusing because she was talking to me. And she said, such an ungrateful, ungrateful beings are men. And then she described and she said, I slog the whole day. I cook and, and get things in order. My husband and my two sons sit like logs in the house. They do nothing at all. When I ask them to go and buy things, they'll never go and buy things. All that they expect is when they come to the table, they want everything to be there. When they get into their rooms, they want everything to be in order. I've never seen an ungrateful set of people. Well, it's, it's, uh, it's something that, that very often we too might have an attitude with, where, where we want everything to be in order. We want everything to be as we like it. And, and we love that thought. Things are, things are set up for us. But how we get there, or the whole process of getting there, is totally different from, from what has been set up for us. And this is where, in the scriptures, Jesus says, I'm going to my father's house, and remember, in my father's house, there are many dwelling places, and I would not, if it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you. I'm going to prepare a place for you. I'm making the effort of preparing the place for you. But the question always is, do we think that everything's going to be set up for us and I don't need to make an effort in trying to get there? I don't need to make an effort in following a path to get there. I remember watching a movie called Hard Knocks many, many years ago when I was very small. And uh, uh, it, it's about these, these set, of, uh, set of youngsters who are being prepared in a military school. And so even as they are being prepared, they, are, they have to go through certain obstacles. And then they get to the obstacle where there's a huge wall and there's a rope and they have to climb the, they have to climb the, the wall using the rope. And it's told to them very clearly that all they have to do is get over the wall. The rule book does not say how. All they need to do is just get over the wall. It doesn't say how. Well, in the scripture, the Lord says, I'm telling you how. If you have to get to my father's house and to the place that I'm preparing for you, I tell you the way. I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. And that is the path you are supposed to walk so that you can get to the Father's house. This is something that, that we, need to, we need to genuinely ask ourselves. Do we think that everything is just going to be set up without us making any bit of an effort? That we, we go through life like as though, as though nothing's good, nothing we need to be bothered about nothing at all. And this is where Jesus says, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. Walk through my path of holiness. Prepare yourself in the path of holiness. That is when you become worthy of entering into, my, into the room that I prepare for you, into my kingdom. And everything that we do in our today and now is a preparation for it. And we cannot think to ourselves that, I can live a life of ease. I can live a life of carelessness. I can live a life where there is there's no holiness in it. And still that room will be set aside for me. The preparation is done by the Lord. Are we prepared enough 
to fit into the room? Are we prepared to enter into that room? Or will we be, or will we be caught off guard? Because we didn't walk the path. We didn't walk the way. We didn't hold on to the truth. We didn't live the life that the Lord expected of us so that we be prepared to enter into the room. It's important our today and now. What I do today, it's the start of the day. What I do today is my preparation for the room. The way I interact with people is my preparation for the room. The way I look at people who don't think like me, how I react to them is my preparation to the room. How I deal with people who, who I might not actually like. The way I forgive people is my preparation for the room. And let us not live in a make-believe world thinking to ourselves, I'll still get in. The room is prepared, I'll still get in. The room is booked, I'll still get in. If I don't walk the path, if I don't walk the way, if I don't walk the path of forgiveness that Jesus has asked me to walk, if I don't walk the way of forgiveness that Jesus demands of me, I will never enter that room. And it's important that I believe that though my Father is preparing things for me, though my Lord is preparing things for me in the Father's house, there is a way, the truth, and the life that I'm still supposed to walk through when I live on this earth. So dear brothers and sisters, even as we prepare ourselves to journey through this day, ask ourselves, where do I need to get my act right? What do I need to do to prepare myself to enter into the room? One day if I'm not prepared, if today I'm not prepared, then maybe I'll never enter. Let's close our eyes for a moment. Bring ourselves into the presence of Jesus. Lord, you've given us this day and all that we will need to do this way to this day to prepare myself. Lord, every word, every action of mine, things that I do but no one knows about, things that are done in secret, the thoughts in secret, the bitterness in my heart towards others in secret. Lord, there's so many opportunities for me to get it right today, to follow the way, the truth, and the life, to follow your path of love, forgiveness, holiness. Let my today be my preparation, a preparation for the room that you have set aside and prepared for me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.